If you have any doubt about testosterone replacement therapy, this video is for you. What's up guys, Dr. Borja Bandera here, welcome to another video. If you are new in this channel, your medicine, nutrition and exercise channel, consider subscribing. Today we are going to talk about testosterone replacement therapy. You are going to understand what it is and we are going to talk about when TRT is a good idea and when not. First of all, I want you to understand how androgen physiology works. Okay, very briefly, very simple. We have the hypothalamus, okay? The hypothalamus is a part of the brain located in the lowest part of your brain, okay? Hypothalamus. And it produces a hormone that is called gonadotropin releasing hormone, okay? This hormone acts onto the hypophysis okay and tell the hypophysis okay hypophysis you're gonna produce two hormones LH and FSH that are called both are called gonadotropins okay we have the gonadotropic releasing hormone and we have the gonadotropins FSH and LH and then we have the testes okay those are the testes the testicles LH stimulates Leydig cells in the testes that produce testosterone here we go we have here testosterone and FSH Follicle stimulating hormone stimulates Sertoli cells that produces a spermatogenesis. Okay, a spermatozoids. A sperm. So we have achieved both functions of the testes. The testes makes two things testosterone production, one, and a spermatozoid production, two. Right? Okay, check, checked, androgen physiology, understood. Now, what happens and what's the rationale of TRT? Okay, this androgen physiology, when we reach our 40s or 50s, start to decline. Concretely, when we reach 40s, it's been described a progressive decline in 1% per year in androgen testosterone concentration. So, a male, a man of 65 years, has not the same concentration of testosterone, blood testosterone, than a male of 20 years, of course. The problem is that this age-related decline in testosterone usually is associated with some symptoms. You see, in women, they reach menopause, estrogen levels fall very abruptly. But in men, we see not an abrupt decline, but a progressive decline with years. And we reach a point when these low testosterone levels can be symptomatic. We can experience fatigue, we are very tired, we can experience mental dizziness, we can experience mental fog, lack of concentration, lack of focus, lack of libido, no sexual motivation, changes in mood, and several other symptoms that are compiled in what it's called low T syndrome or andropause, right? So TRT is a therapy in which you compensate for 
this age-related decline in testosterone using exogenous testosterone in this kind of aging male. And what's the purpose? Very simple, the purpose is to avoid or reduce the symptoms associated to low testosterone. But we doctors have some criteria to use or not use TRT, testosterone replacement. And this criteria is very strict or should be very strict. One, we need a situation of hypogonadism, okay? That is low testosterone levels measured in a lab test, right? We need the lab test, we need the test, the testing, in order to see low testosterone levels. And at least we need it twice, two times separately. And on top of that, we need the symptoms. So we need low T in a blood test and symptoms of low T symptoms that are linked to low T and that's the criteria we use to start TRT okay when we shouldn't use TRT we shouldn't use TRT for anti-aging purposes okay nowadays testosterone prescriptions have gone over the roof in a few years, we have multiplied testosterone prescriptions and a very gross percentage of those prescriptions are not adequate prescriptions, okay? We use testosterone for anti-aging purposes. We use it with, without hypogonadism, even without low T, in order to feel better, okay? In order to feel energized, to feel stronger, to feel faster, to feel younger, okay? So not use it for anti-aging purposes, not use it without low testosterone levels, okay? Don't use it without a doctor opinion and a doctor guidance, okay? And of course, don't use TRT to improve sport performance because this is not TRT, this is androgen abuse and is a whole different thing, okay? Androgen, as we know, is a performance enhancing drug. But here we use testosterone to achieve physiologic concentration, physiologic levels, but not supra physiologic levels that are usually achieved when we use testosterone as a performance enhancing drug. Are there any risks to the use of TRT? Yes, there are some risks over the table, but we are not really sure about to what extent those risks are real. The first and more troubling risk is cardiovascular disease increment, okay? Both low testosterone concentrations and high testosterone concentrations are triggers to cardiovascular disease, okay? If you have low T, your risk of heart disease is higher than if you are normal testosterone but if you are too high your risk is augmented as well so lots of studies and lo lots of meta-analysis have been conducted and the growth of the evidence right now say that is a safe therapy but there is some controversy between studies. Some say that the risk is increased, others say the opposite. So we are not really sure. For that reason, in males that have several risk factors for heart disease, for cardiovascular disease, smoking, obesity, hypertension, dyslipemia, non-alcoholic steatoparitis, insulin resistance, diabetes, we shouldn't start at TRT, right? And the second one, the second risk is prostate disease, okay? 
we can consider those risks and go more in depth in future videos. And what are the benefits of TRT? We have some risks, but fortunately we have some benefits as well. The first one is that you're gonna increase your lean mass and you're gonna diminish, you're gonna get rid of fat mass. So you are gonna get leaner and that's good. That's good for your health and that's good for your performance for your confidence, you're gonna like you more, you're gonna improve your quality of life, you're gonna focus more, you're gonna be more active, you're gonna feel better. As well, other cardiovascular risk factor as dyslipemia, okay, or glucose intolerance and insulin resistance are gonna improve. As well as hypertension usually is improved when TRT is started. So the conclusion to sum up this video, TRT is an option when we have a low testosterone concentration linked to aging, to the aging process, okay? We have an age-related decline in testosterone and in some cases could be a good idea to replace this with exogenous testosterone. But we have to be very cautious because there are some risks, some health risks as well. So don't start any TRT by your own. Ask for a doctor in order to be properly counseled. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new in this channel, consider subscribing. See you on next videos. Stay healthy and strong. What do you think about TRT? Do you think it's a good option? Do you think the balance between risks and benefits goes to the risks or goes to the benefits? Tell me down below in the comments and see you soon.